All right, now I want to talk about the Live House brand. Okay. Is the Live House brand strictly a clothing brand or is it a record label too? Give me some more insight on that. See, we have we have two entities. We have um we we have Live House Music Group and then we have Live House Merchandise and the, and the merchandise is basically the merchandise for the music. So it starts with music. But like my merchandise, I, I put a lot of fucking thought and pride into my merchandise because I wanted to make my merchandise shit that people could wear and my fans could wear on the daily without looking corny as fucking saying iceberg mixtape coming soon. You feel me? So I got the live house shit to as well as like it's some dope shit. You could wear it to the movies with your girl. You could fucking go to what's the name, but it, it is based off the music. You feel me? And we had like leather book bags and shit and shit like fly shit that a, a lot of I see artists not doing with they merch. They just slapping they fucking logo on a t-shirt or slapping they fucking mixtape name on it and sell it to their fans. But they don't want to work for your ass all the time. Work for them. Like make them look fly a little bit, you know. So we do like cut and sew shit too. And I'm actually starting another brand that's strictly for fashion. It ain't got nothing to do with music. And that's where I'm going with that. Like a lot of fashion outlets tried to wholesale my, wanted to buy my shit wholesale, which was Live House, but I turned it down. I'd rather do my shit strictly to the fans. You know, that's why I'm opening up a flagship. But in the future, I'm working on another brand that I would be wholesaling to the stores and, and, and going to the different trade shows and stuff with this brand to give it to everybody. But Live House sort of like my baby for my fans that the, the niggas who rocking it is the niggas who really rocking with me, you feel me? Like, if you see a nigga in the street with a Live House, y'all automatically got a, a, a connection, you feel me? If you see a fucking guy with a Louis Vuitton shirt on and shit, it's like, that don't mean he'll fuck with you because I don't give a fuck what you do, nigga. Leave me alone. But if somebody see a, a, a guy in the street with a Live House shirt or fly his Live House book back, they automatically know, oh, no, nah, that's Bill, you know, but I fuck with yo, you. What you know about that? You know, and it spark conversation. So that's what it is. It's more like a conversational piece between my fans and shit. But it's more so for the music, you could say, though. Now, how long has the clothing company been around for? Shit, the day I started um, Live House Music, it's crazy. Like, I started Live House Music and Live House Merch because I automatically knew what I wanted to do. So, the, the, it, it was three years, though, since I've been independent, really, since I got on my last contract three years ago. Now, at what point did you decide in that three-year window to do a flagship store? Shit, when I first started it, I swear to God, like when I first started it, I knew I'm going to start online and, and do a flagship store. Because I was watching, because before I started Live House, I was watching, uh, uh, I ain't going to even give you his, his name because I ain't going to get niggas no game for free like that, but I fuck with y'all. But I started something based on a brand that I was following crazy, and it's just crazy like he had like a cult following and shit and his shit going through the roof but I never heard of him and I felt like that was the dopest shit ever because I ain't for the fame and shit you know I just want to be low key getting paid for getting a little money you know and the people that know better know better if you don't know better cool I can still ride on the side of you with my family and your family at a, on the cruise you feel me you ain't got to know that I'm the biggest fucking rapper in Florida you feel what I'm saying so that's why I started um, the flagship shit through a brand that went like that, like who attacked the coat following shit. But as soon as I started Live House, I knew I was going to do a flagship store eventually. And it was something Miami didn't have, so I feel like it was the perfect shit, and I'm the perfect person to do it. Now, the location of the Live House um, flagship store, the experience, yeah. um, why that location that you chose for it? Because it was close to my studio. You know, I got a studio in a, a good part of Miami, you know, and um, and the, 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 the spot that the Live House store in is right off the Golden Glaze Interchange. So it's people from Broward and West Palm could come down and get off right at the store. You know, people from south, southern, most southern parts of Miami could get on 95 and get off right at the store. And it was one of, I got it in the... Um, in a location on 163rd Street or 167th Street that's totally, it got a good parking lot and shit. So, you feel me? 
And we we able to hold like different events and stuff for the fans. Now, in in all three years since you've had the Live House merchandise, how hands are on how hands on are you with the designs? All the way. I actually I designed a lot. I designed this shit right here. Though. I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of dope to me. I did that shit, but I'm all the way hands on with it. I, I know how to work Photoshop and shit. I don't like to tell a lot of people that shit, but I've been giving niggas game here and there, but I'm hands on with my shit. But I do hire and I do, um, like, you know, do like um, contract work with different graphic designers and shit. But I'm all the way hands on it when it comes to picking the designs and actually de designing the designs and shit. Now, as far as the music, portion of Live House. Are you the only artist on there or are there other artists signed to the entity? Me, technically, yeah. You know, um, I got my boy 6'4 Chris, he over there, the camera can't see him. He, like, he indecisive about if he really want to fuck with the music shit, because this shit take a lot out of people, but he damn good at the shit too, so he dropped music and shit. And it's not technically under Live House, it's just I'm helping him with his shit, you feel me? He got his own shit, 6'4. You feel me? I got my girl. She be spitting little verses. And, uh, you know, it's more in a fun state now. You know, we still in that basement state with Live House Music Group. Just how, like, Dungeon Family was at one point. Just like Slip and Slide was. Just like No Limit was at one point. When they just, it's a bunch of homies from the hood just coming together, trying to make some shit work to get the fuck out the hood. You feel me? I know I'm a well-seasoned artist that been out for a while, but as far as my company, it's only two years two and a half years old, you feel me? So we, st we just really just doing our shit and whatever come happen. I just hired a, a new engineer last week and the company two and a half years old, you feel me? And I'm hoping this guy stick it out with me to forever. You know, I hope he be my next guru, but it's just real, just, just real like premature right now, just real young right now. So we ain't got no artists. We, we, like I said, we just getting an engineer, you know, so.